Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video because the video that I wanted to make today just was not working out at all. Every single bit of footage that I had for it was completely unusable because I forgot to say something important in each thing that I want to say and you'll see once I make the video eventually. <laughs> But for now, I'm just going to relax and play a little Kirby's Dream Land 3 because, believe it or not, I still have not finished this game. Not because it's too hard for me or something like that, I just haven't gotten around to finishing this game. So, let's just play it for fun, shall we? We are at level 3 to Sand Canyon and playing 3-2 with that yellow critter. I noticed that the critters on the level select thingy there is an indicator of what you need to 100% the level. And it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what is required for you to 100% the level, so I'm probably going to end up missing stuff in this video, but eh, this is just a random gameplay just for fun. And this sand is really hindering. <laughs> it's... Yeah, this sand, it's, it's like a treadmill of sorts, too. I just noticed that. It just made me bolt forward. Oh. Oh, do I want any of you? I guess... Yay! Woo! And what, what ability do I get when I combine with... Oh, it's like some sort of dive bomb attack. Oh, I gotta hold the button. That's kind of broken if I can just, like, do that through the whole level. <laughs> no, actually, I can't even do it through the whole level. It just stops after a couple of seconds. But of course, you know, they gotta balance it out somehow. Dang it! <laughs> gotta love this music, by the way. Kirby games always have the most catchy songs in gaming history. <laughs> no, I want my power, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, Wait, oh shoot, should I went th to the right? Maybe. Uh, hmm. What's with the locked rooms? That's interesting, am I? How did I miss something? Did I miss is there like something hidden in these walls? Because the, those... Oopsie. Those uh, holes, they look like they're behind those walls, unless they're just like simple warp holes. Oh! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, was look I was looking around the room for some sort of door, and yeah, there it is. So I guess th there's a way to go through some walls in this game. Moving on. I am now buddyless. I am now powerless. I'm being attacked by Waddle Dees, or at least followed by them. Waddle Dees, they just. they're just there. <laughs> Gary Spark! Yeah! Even though Spark is still one of the weakest powers, it's still sometimes better to have some power than no power to defend yourself. Yeah, but not Broom. Broom really sucks in some cases, unless you combine it with, uh,. Uh, animal buddies. Uh, ooh, which way do I want to go? Uh, it looks like it's a way out, actually. Oh. I needed a broom, didn't I? Just to please you. Didn't I? Because they were broom enemies in this level. That's one thing that I kind of that kind of bugs me about Dreamland 3 is that they don't really. <laughs> Sneak attack is that they're kind of mean about the um, uh, the, the way that, that you 100% the game because you don't know what you need to do until you are there, and it, by the time you're there, it's often too late to be able to 100% the level without going through the level again, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> it's fun to play though, just as a uh, standard Kirby game, like if you're just playing through the level as is, and... Hold on, do you, give, do you give me anything in specific? You do, it's... Oh, Needle. Needle! Needle! <laughs> I was better off with the Spark. Nah. I'm actually better off probably just without any power. These little critters don't really do anything to you. <laughs> you just step right on them. It's kind of silly that they're there. Well, I guess they're like details of sorts. Anyway. Climbing. What is it? What is this? Oh, nothing. It gives me nothing. Climbing the inside of 
some sort of sand castle, I have no idea. The architecture is really neat though. Though I kind of question how this thing would stay together. I mean, just take a look at, you know, how sand is and how crumbly it is and oh, maybe I should stop questioning it. <laughs> maybe it's actually made out of rock. Yeah, that's it. So that makes a lot more sense. Oh shoot, these fall. I forgot about that. <laughs> I clearly have a lot of inexperience because I haven't eh, played through this game completely before. Not even one whole time. Dang it. <laughs> Arr, sand so in hindering. Yeah, I, I kind of want Maxim tomato. Yum yum. <laughs> nope, let me... I guess you have to be further out. You give anything? No, you don't. When I suck you in, I press down for too long and I go right through the platform. That's very inconvenient. You give me something. No! Who gives me stuff around here? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> they crumble, but they turn into regular fall-through platforms that you push down to go through. What about these? Those two? Really? Interesting. Like, what's the point of having crumblies crumbly things if they're not actually going to be a trap. Maybe it's just like to throw you off or something. A genie D. <laughs> That's pretty clever, I must say. Well, okay, maybe it's not a genie D, but <laughs> it's like a Waddle D spirit in a bottle. <laughs> ah, so eh, sand annoying. Yeah, I should stop going in the water to look, th look for things. There doesn't seem to be anything of importance in the water. Then again, if I don't look in the water, there's probably going to be something of importance. Mm, there is not. <laughs> and any three-star door indicates the end of the level. Oh, the sadness. Because I didn't have a broom, I guess. <laughs> that, that's just what I'm guessing. I don't know if I actually need a broom for that. Oh, no. I always fail at these minigames. Maxim Tomato! Ah, oh, I was two away. Mm. Next level! Chickadee! 3-3. I have no idea what I'm gonna need here if I want to 100% the level. And I don't care enough to go back to the other level to attempt to 100% it at this point. Because, as I said, that's kind of annoying me with this game. <laughs> I wonder if I should have went to the right to start out with instead of going down. Like, I'm just gonna check out... Or, oh, there's nothing to the right. Ah, I just wasted time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's... It's, it bugs me a little bit with this game that you, you have to uh, often go through a level multiple times in order to 100% it, because things... You, only, you can only 100% some things by knowing what to do after you see the situation at hand. And even so, some things are so obscure that it's that it almost feels like you need a guide to figure it out because there's no hint of any kind to tell you what you need to 100% something in. What's the, what's the deal with these three doors? Might as well, might as well go in a door because that, they're kind of like checkpoints. Oh, they're from buddies. Uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, what's in the far right one? Hmm... She kind of bugs me a little bit. <laughs> she combines well with some things, but other things... It, ah, but other things, not so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll grab her just to show you what I mean, I suppose. You, you have that, that attack right there, which is pretty much like your inhale, in a way, and... Yeah. <laughs> And then you combine with her, and she can also go on the ceiling and stuff like that. But I guess she's pretty okay with uh, uh, stone here, so maybe I'll maybe maybe things will be fine. Wait, are those spike? Yeah, those are spiky blocks. Oopsie! I'm getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> Give me power back, dang it! You can definitely, definitely tell my inexperience in this. <laughs> but that's okay. This is eh. This is how it would be if I was playing a game blind and I didn't know the game all that well. Well, aside from like traditional <laughs> Mario platformers or something like that, because I'm pretty um, adapt to Mario platformers, but other ones I'm um, pretty amateurish when I play them my first time. <laughs> 
Like you see, because I, I didn't know the hitbox of those spiky things, I just ended up running into it on my jump over the crab here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you guys would give me something. Can I destroy those things? I didn't think so. Come on, Thwomp. Out of my way. Yeah, I know they're not Thwomps, but they kind of resemble that in their attack patterns. Oh, jeez! What a change of scenery! <laughs> I mean, I knew we were in the desert, but... This is a lot hotter than I expected. Oh, I don't know how to do... Um... That... That upward... Um, you see when I grab the power? You know, I'll grab another power here. Like, when I grab the burning power with... Uh... Her, what'll happen is that you'll see that she makes, like, some sort of blimp. But I don't know how to do that. I I've looked around how to do that, and I... I mean, I've tried different things on how to do that, and I just can't seem to figure it out. And there's no power list in the um, pause screen, as I just showed you there. So, for all I know, it's just a blowtorch, but it looks like that I'm able to float upwards somehow using the blowtorch. Wait, wait, how did I... I just did it somehow. Um... Oh! Hold both the jump and the attack button at the same time. Okay, I understand now. And... I really suck, don't I? <laughs> but maybe not. I mean, I've got 13 lives that I've accumulated. Then again, I wasn't talking when I was doing so, so my attention is sort of divided here. Ah, oh, well, I didn't need her anyway. I can get through this all on my own and just burning. I should stop recklessly moving forward. By the way, the camera in this game is also a little bit awkward in that you can sometimes run... Dang it! <laughs> you can sometimes run too close to the edge of the screen and it becomes hard to react to stuff. It's just how the, the camera works. Uh, what, am I, <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Oh, count the things. Five? I didn't know what, sh what the heck I was counting, so... Yeah... Because, I, I, yeah... <laughs> I, I was going into a blind, I didn't know what I had to do there, so... I failed at the counting game. <laughs> I wonder if they would, like, switch things up by asking you to choose... Dang it! Like, asking you to choose which ones don't have eyes and which ones do, and vice versa, depending on the situation. They just, like, make you count both at once. But then again, if you know how many are of one kind, you just be able to subtract, uh, you know, the number, and you'll be able to get to know how many are in the other kind. So I guess it really doesn't matter all that much when it comes to that, but it's some just something that came to mind here, what they might do, because... I don't know, I guess I'm just speculating to myself here, because this is blind. <laughs> and wow, that... Those sand waterfalls really... They, they really hinder you. <laughs> then again, a lot of stuff is hindering me here. Look how far ahead of the screen I am now, and that's... If, if I was running forward, I would run into things. I'm good if I... Um, move slowly enough, enough, but... My s sort of impatience is kind of getting the better of me. <laughs> Maxim Tomato? No! Maybe I should be going for the 1-ups instead, because they kind of are probably more important than the Maxim Tomatoes. Because they are, like, more than full health, technically, and... Wait, Chili, what are you doing in the desert? You would melt! Anyway, let's freeze some stuff! Amazingly, you can freeze a snowman, even f frostier than it already is. And I press the attack button. Maybe it, there's a delay to when your attack happens. I'll try that again. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Eh. Again, my inexperience and my puffs of ice are very spaced out. <laughs> so if I were to just wait around here, yeah, it works. Much better. Dang you critters trying to trick me. But to no avail, well, I'll just run into you anyway. So I guess you're still effective. <laughs> Dang, sand, er. This is very, I mean, the ice is very handy for this uh, particular area, though, because things just skim right across the ground. Uh, whoops, no, not me. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, inexperience again. I'll take a kitty. 
because why not? I'll see how this combines because I never tried. Wow! Did not expect that. <laughs> It's like some sort of hovering ability with ice. That seems like it could be very handy. As a matter of fact, I could probably fly over everything if I wanted to, if this is like... unlimited flight. And it certainly seems like it's unlimited flight. So I, I'll just coast on forward here without uh, any issues whatsoever, although I'm kind of missing this lower route. <laughs> oh no, I want that! I want that more than anything! And where is the door? Oh, there's the door. <sighs> and the ambush enemies are kind of ridiculous in this game, too. Because <laughs> it's like, you, you've seen the ones that uh, um, are are disguised as doors and stuff like that, that you can only tell they turn... Okay, this is a terrible combination at this point now. <laughs> what if I combine this? I could shoot little needles for that's not too bad it's actually pretty acceptable to the situation eh, kind of eh, I got, gotta be a lot more careful I'm at one health don't want to restart area I think anyway I won't really like restart the whole area I mean or whole level oh there we go maximum tomato oh geez <laughs> did not see that at least I had enough time to react all that time Thank you, Maxim Tomato. Ooh, we're swimming? Why? What? <laughs> How do we just go from this to swimming? I, I don't... Uh, what? <laughs> well, so we're swimming! The water is pretty warm here because it's desert, and we're able to rehydrate ourselves. Because, you know, the desert makes you pretty parched in this heat. Just how things go, I suppose. Uh, I think that my kitty buddy is using me as a flotation device. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should have taken the bottom path or didn't it matter? I don't know. There's multiple paths everywhere. How do I know which way is the correct path if there is a correct path before I go down it? Uh, there's a door there. Did I want to take the middle? I don't know. Oh, there's a door here too, so... Uh, maybe there was no wrong choice. Uh... Uh, hmm. And was that a land shark? <laughs> what the poop? <laughs> this game is very entertaining with the way it's designed, though. I gotta, I gotta give it that. Okay, yeah, each path would have definitely led to different spots, as you can see by those little exits, portal things that they're hinting at there. Anyway, oh dang it! I wonder if I should keep switching powers. It seems like. Different areas are- I'm better off with different powers, but I don't know how they combine with a kitty. <laughs> That's the thing, because of my inner experience, I only know how this works, and I'm only getting the hang of it. Wait, what if I were to, like... Whoa! That seems really handy. Holy cow! <laughs> Okay, I should definitely try switching powers more often to find some really good combinations. That is exceptional. It just clears the entire ground enemy way and a little bit of the sky as well because of how high that fire pillar goes up. Very nice. I should not fear the ex experimentation. <laughs> At the same time, I'm embarrassing myself a lot here. <laughs> and again, when don't I do that? It's kind of kind of what I do around here. <laughs> Ah, what a beautiful night desert scene. The graphics in this game, I gotta say, are pretty neato in general. Like, I'm not one to judge a game by its graphics, and I don't think you should ever judge a game by, by its graphics, but... Yeah, I totally missed what I was supposed to do with you, so eh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't judge a game by its graphics because of the fact that it's the gameplay that makes a game, not the graphics. But, you know, good graphics or artistic graphics like the ones here definitely make a game... Uh, like a little bit more interesting to look at, so to speak, I guess you could say. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess I'm bad at describing stuff like that. But, like, graphics, I mean, are a bonus. Like, good graphics are a bonus, but gameplay should always be first, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh oh, jeez. And I love the Sand Canyon music, this one right here, by the way. The catchiest song ever! Well, maybe not. There's a lot of other catchy 
Kirby songs in history. You know what, I'm, I'm doing pretty well with my kitty buddy here, so... Uh, yeah, I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> Just look how well that does. Burning plus kitty. I don't even know it's named. <laughs> I've read the instruction booklet more, and these are definitely a lot like Thwomps, just because of their shape. I think there's a crossover at hand here. Okay, maybe not. And tick. I know at least your name. You're always in my way when you're below me. That's the way you're placed, the way you're designed to be. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I should be doing here. Well, oh, wait, actually, I can hop on all the enemies, so I guess falling down here is a non-issue. Uh, I like this power combo, so I'm gonna stick with that, actually. Oh, jeez. I seen that coming. But they're gonna give me plenty of time. Plenty of time to get away from it, right? I assume they will. Yeah, it's just gonna get stuck right there, then. Bloop. Ah, did not see you there. You just looked like you were part of the scenery. It's tricky, tricky. <laughs> You're gonna get stuck there, right, Reboulder? Yeah, okay. So, they do definitely give you a chance sometimes to always watch the doors. Do I want to go further? I don't know, I'm gonna go further, just for the heck of it. Because I have a feeling that this is going to lead to something important. Just because it just kept continuing and it looked like that the opportunity to... Um... Oh, seriously? Really? I, f I shot something at the door and... Oh, jeez, I lost my fire. <laughs> I shot something at the door and it didn't get destroyed, but it only attacked when it when I approached it. That's just mean. I, I mean, I thought I was b baiting it out, or I mean, attacking any any possibility by just skimming across uh, with an with an attack. But hmm. Oh wait, wait. I can. Is that worth getting? It it looks like a very. Oh, maybe it's worth getting because I got like a charge of sorts. Eh, I still like this. <laughs> I like that combo, so I'm gonna stick with it for now. I'm definitely not gonna go for the broom, even though something's telling me that I probably should use the broom. Uh oh I can't take those paths with the kitty here, can I? Yeah, that's what the middle path is for. Dang it! Maybe I should have switched to a hamster buddy. Kaboo! You are a non-issue. Most of the time, Kaboo is, actually. You just attack once and it's gone. <laughs> uh, what, what? Oh, I'm supposed to use needles specifically to get through that. Interesting. Or, wait, where's that cutter? Is that cutter or needle? Uh, because this, this, these give me cutter. Yeah, I don't think that's what I need. Oh, that is cutter. Maybe both cutter and needle work on that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, now I can take this path, even though I need- oh. Did I not notice that they were both dead ends or something? Like, I guess I didn't. Wow. Well, maybe because I thought- because the camera was, like... Uh-oh. It kind of is in my way this time. I mean, the kuboos are definitely in my way this time. Yeah. Aha! But yeah, I think the reason why I didn't notice it the first time that, there, that those paths were dead ends were because it was off-camera. Uh, which path? Which side? I don't think it matters! Oh, jeez, giant kaboo. Oh, you only take one hit despite your size. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I think the bigger enemy would have more HP, but I guess not. Oh, jeez! Fuzzy? Fuzzy, no. Not not the Yoshi's Island Fuzzy, please. I, maybe I should have tried touching it just to see if they were actually the Yoshi's Island kind of fuzzy. Well, I, I'll just try it here. Nope, not. Dang it. That would have been pretty funny if it was the Yoshi's Island kind of fu kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Moving on. I thought did those little ones hurt me? Yeah, they do. Hmm. So I guess the, some small enemies hurt you, while other small enemies do not. Interesting to know. And those fuzzy things, pff, whoops, are really, really hard to see sometimes. <laughs> but that might be the uh, idea behind it, Other, or maybe I just need to change the coloration on my TV a little bit. I have no idea where I missed something with you. It was probably on a, a different path. But yeah, again, this is another situation where it's like, how was I supposed to know what to do 
to please this, and how, how was I supposed to find what to do with that on my first run through the thing? And yeah, you get, you're, I think you're getting the idea here. So while it's, it's fun to play this game, it's definitely not one of my favorite Kirby games as a result of... Uh, is that Rob? <laughs> as a result of some of those uh, bold design decisions, so to speak. Yeah, I think that was Rob. Did Rob make an appearance in this game somehow, or is that Rob's doppelganger? I don't know. But I'm not going to ugh, take Spark. I'm going to ha happily stick with my Cutter, because Cutter is pretty versatile, being a projectile weapon as well as a boomerang. Yeah, so I'm just going to stick with that until I can combine stuff with... Ah, I suck. <laughs> And you know, I, I dealt with those enemies in Kirby 64 too, and yet I'm taking hits from them. Amazing! <laughs> and I also don't have my cutter now. Great! I'm not going to use S Spark alone. Because Spark is just... I don't like uh, and powers that kind of make you sit still when you use them. I like to always have a movement when I, I use a power so I'm not vulner <laughs> vulnerable. Plus, it's faster. <laughs> Again, it's a thing of my impatience. And what the poop? Are we going inside the spaceship in Kirby 64? <laughs> I think we are. Wow, this is... This is taking an odd turn. <laughs> I'm not com ugh, not complaining, though. Ooh, that one's a lot faster than the other ones. I mean, between uh, falling sets. Come on, there we go. And I've seen that one just fell, so it's safe. Semi-safe. Now we're in water. What the heck? Are we in the reactor core? <laughs> this is like coolant. Am I able to break through these walls? Yes, I am. So many unanswered questions. So there's, what, like seven paths here? That I can, ugh, that I can take? Wow. Uh, needle? Yeah, I figured you would give me needle. Stone... I really don't like stone all that much, except when I combine it with some critters. Uh, did I take the right path on my first shot? I personally doubt it. <laughs> hey, it's that song, the beta song in uh, Kirby 64. Okay, let's, let's combine you. Oh wait, I already tried you before. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna drop you. Uh, I already tried f burning with you. <laughs> well, that seems pretty fun to use, so I'll take Pitch here. I think its name is Pitch. So... Ooh, oh, um... Mm. Maybe this is the... the buddy zone. Yeah, this pathway here is uh, to get various buddies, so I guess I gotta pick another path back at the, uh... Um, barrel can zone. Oh, jeez. Ranged attack. Always gotta look out for the ranged attack. Alright, so which path this time? I'll take the upper path. Just do lateral even angles first. Uh oh. What's the. Why are they different colors? Am I supposed to only touch, like, certain colors? I don't know. Maybe I'm only supposed to touch the red. Who knows? You just never know what tasks you're gonna come across in this game. And... Something tells me I already failed. Oh wait, maybe not! Because that, that jingle sounded like I failed, and I probably shouldn't go down there, should I? <laughs> I'm at the top of the space pyramid, oh, and it's actually reverse scrolling. Oh, I see! Blue ones you can only go down on, red ones you can't. Got it, now I understand. So that means it's harder going down than it is going up. Now I understand that design decision, but I need to pick another path. Right? Well, I'm a little bit off, but <laughs> let's take this one just because I shot through it. Uh, what's down here? Is that something worth getting? I mean, anything worth down there getting? No, I didn't think so. Uh, oh, I see. I'm rebuilding. Oh, and I need a fish to get past that current. Ah, I see. I gotta rebuild Rob the Robot with the various pieces from the various paths. Ah, and you, you swap animal buddies to get through each path. 
I see. Ah! <laughs> that was quite the bounce. Because that was the arm of Rob there. At least I think it's Rob. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> can I, like, safely run past them, like, quickly? I guess, I guess I can for the most part. I wonder if I'm better going... Better off going over those than going under them sometimes. Not the face guys, I'm talking about the thwomps. Holy jeez, I've been playing for 30 minutes already? I can't believe I've been playing that long. <laughs> um, I guess I'll play the boss and then end off the random gameplay, but yeah, this... I thought I was... I mean, I didn't think I was playing this much. Maybe I am having quite a bit of fun with the game, even if the... 100%ing aspect of the game, as well as the cheap shots, get to me sometimes. But, uh, yeah! Nah! <laughs> I mean, I, if I'm losing track of time, I'm obviously having fun with it. <laughs> to some extent that I can't normally see. It also could be because I'm playing new material. Yeah, I've only got the head. And I also recognize that guy from, I think it's uh, Gyromite. One up! Oh my god, I actually got it! <laughs> I'm really surprised at that. Alright, who's the boss? Pon? Con? Is this like a dual boss? Uh, is it gonna be Lolo and La 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 clone? Maybe it's gonna be hurt and kill everything? I think I'm just supposed to hit the bigger ones? Okay, I'm supposed to hit the bigger ones. I know it's the life gate at the bottom there. One down. So aim for the bigger ones! I definitely should be sticking towards the center here just for the sake of safety. Because I can choose a upper or lower path depending on the situation. At least I know that bit of strategy because I know that from la la and la 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 la. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Not doing too shabby. Oh jeez. Pitch there takes a little bit of too much time to come back that I'm comfortable with. <laughs> because sometimes it's not with me and I need it to attack something that's coming after me. And whoops. Was not paying much attention there, clearly. Oh, one's down. Ah, missed. Got off screen before I could get to it. Alright, where are you? And I don't know which is which. As I said, I'm inexperienced with this game. I don't know the enemies or bosses or anything like that. This is just for fun, and I won on my first try! Yeah! To the Kirby! <laughs> to the next world I go! But I'm not gonna do it in this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this random video, and I'll see you in the next video! Wait, I'll wait for this cutscene to end. I think Kirby's oblivious to what just happened there. You got left behind. Yep, now he knows. <laughs> Wait, is that a fire flower? <laughs>